hello everyone uh, welcome back to ppo interview tutorials and today we came up with uh, another concept with regards to the team lead kpis uh, we will start our video tutorials on it and uh, definitely i will give you a clear understanding that what are the kpis for the team lead that need to be considered and uh, this question is most importantly asked in the interview and uh, we need to aware with it along with its formula and example with it so welcome back guys uh, to the video interview tutorials i hope you guys are doing really well so please click on bell icon and subscribe button if you haven't done it do it right away guys so that you guys will get a notification on my upcoming videos also give a contribution while clicking on the thanks button so let's start our today's concept uh, that is on aht average handling time and acw after call work so if you guys are working with a calling process uh, definitely you would have gone through this uh, abbreviation that aht is getting increased or acw need to be reduced so these all are the kpis of the team lead that need to be considered while he is working in any calling process so let's start the concept one by one so first we will go with AHT the full form of AHT is average handling time so which means uh, the AHT is the average amount of time to handle a call from start to finish it include hold times and also the after call task so in a general way I can say that whenever a person or employee uh, get a call and uh, whenever he ends with a call with giving the resolution in between of that call he will keep the call on hold he will also keep uh, the call on mute and also done with the call there will be some uh, average uh, there will be some ACW which is after call work so all this timings and if we do the average of it that will be considered as an AHT so the formula is very easy total talk time which means uh, the customer was engaged with the, the employee or the employee was engaged with the customer plus total hold, hold time uh, we used to keep the call on hold then we used to resume it that particular time plus total after call work which means after done with the call we, we may get a few seconds that is ACW uh, we will understand that in our next slide what is this ACW okay if we do plus of it and we will divide divide it with total number of calls taken by the customer on that particular day so this will be known as AHT so guys this is a most important topic and we may get this question whenever a person is going for an interview for a, a team lead operation team lead so this is all about AHT we have uh, gone through it with the example as well so if you have any question please uh, mention it in your uh, in a comment section uh, definitely I will help you out with this particular concern guys and also try this example with your existing process let's move to the another concept that is ACW which is after call work so let's see the definition first after call work refers to a set of tasks that a contact center agent has to complete after every interaction with the customer done so for an example an employee got a call he is helping the customer with a refund query over the call so he helped out the customer after done with the call he will say that thanks for contacting to us and he will the customer will disconnect the call after that before receiving the second call there will be a some minutes wherein the associate will draft an email to the customer he will do tagging or else he will mention the notes if any follow-up required he will mention a follow-up action on it he will mention his logging call details the work what he is doing what he is supposed to do and what was guided by the uh, the training team or else what is guided by the process the work which he will do during that particular work that is ACW which is after call work so what is the formula for that total time to finish all the call minus call task the call task is the, the, the tagging the email drafting whatever you guys are doing divided by total number of the calls so now this is ACW guys these are the 
most important concept you guys need to remember always uh, have abbreviation and this set need to get ready and you need to understand the concept very clearly also the formula are very much important you may guys get this question and this is all about the AHT and ACW which are the KPAs of a, a team lead operation team lead or else these are the KPAs for the associate also I can say because associate also need to maintain all those things okay that's it from this particular concept hope you guys have got the clear understanding please do share subscribe the channel also share it with your colleague who are looking for the interview who required a best content to prepare for their quality team lead a uh, yellow bell six sigma certification ms excel dashboard if you are looking for any uh, quality team lead related interviews so guys please check out my playlist you will get multiple videos almost there are 50 plus videos to watch out and it may give you a clear understanding you can implement that those concepts in your existing process build up a good impression in front of your managers so that's it from our side also check out our facebook page instagram page wherein i will be posting some vacancies which we we will be having like in our india wherein i will be posting vacancies for many multiple mncs you may get over there so like uh, our instagram and facebook page as well so that's it from our side guys hope you you guys have liked the video thank you so much thanks for watching